another video finally I'm doing a swap with a very special friend her name is Brianna her YouTube channel is Carmen Q crafts she has inspired me to really start crafting again and, and so we're doing this swap and she's honestly the coolest sweetest funniest um, like chick I've ever met on through YouTube and we FaceTime quite often and we just craft and I'm trying to record this video, package it up, and head to the post office because this Friday, March 31st, is her birthday. She will start off with this card, a box card. So there is a Velcro here. There's a belly band. I added, she loves bling and pink, so that is what I went with. I used a Martha Stewart punch and cut out these leaves with glitter paper. I Am Roses flowers, um, some recollection flowers, and more I Am Roses flowers. This is a, I think... A recollections pin so this is the card she'll take off the belly band and it's still attached on and it's a box card so in the card because it's her birthday I added a little bit of confetti and a letter for her so that is her box card it's really cute I hope she likes it this is the first time I've ever created something like this I'm like so out of the scrapping game <laughs> basically a loaded envelope with pockets and you fill it up with goodies that you make or um, store-bought items so I have this chipboard sticker here and it is from me and my big ideas and it says I think of you and smile some I am roses flowers here skeleton leaves um, this bead that's a leaf and it's gold I have a butterfly these flowers in here I'm gonna empty this whole thing out so the flowers and then I have this cupcake topper and it's kind of like a shaker but I think I did it a little too tight because it's not shaking around so it's pink and gold. Then I created this paper clip glittered heart for her. I have a few stamps inside here for her. A few stamps, I have one stamp. <laughs> and it's this cool heart. And then I laminated some cards that she can punch holes in um, for any planner that she may have. So that's in there. And, and then here is a little flag and it says friends and it's cute because the letters are gold foil then there is this quick altered clip I did with a bow and this paper is gorgeous too it's like all gold foil have some trim for her in here and then this tag that says friends make life more fun and it's pink so she'll definitely love that I included some lace on this chipboard dress die that I that I have and been hoarding for like years. And then I added some trim to make it look like a necklace for her. So added bling because she loves her bling. So these ones are really sparkly. Added some more bling here. And it's pink. Envelopes. Those are pretty. And then in this back pocket here, I made this rosette for her and it's sassy because she's a little bit sassy and fun. So there's a doily on the back, the same gold type of foiled paper, some flowers here and some twine and a little mini rose right there and I added some lace towards the bottom. This making memories glitter bling princess chipboard piece that she can use for her dog Bella and then I made this tag here but I want to pull out all the small stuff so I included a lot of pretty lace for her 
to use in her projects, which hopefully, girl, you, you actually use them because she kind of hoards everything that people give her, which I'm the same, but I actually want her to use all this stuff. So there's that, and then this one has a bunch of fiber on it, and some stickers that she might be able to use, and this is a little tag book that I made for her. Very fun, very simple, so she could add whatever she likes to it. There's pom-pom trim and the golden white eyelash trim. I cut them into little tag shapes, so this one's gold foil as well, and they are backed on front and back. So this is a smaller tag. This one's cute with the little teacups, the birdcage, and then the butterflies. And the last page, more butterflies and some pretty flowers. So this is a little mini tag book that she can use, and then a cute little background page. So that is my first loaded envelope and my first swap in like so long. And I included this blinged out crown. And I thought it was just so pretty to hang. And like the gold just went with all the gold um, accents around. So I thought it was very fitting. This frame here is also cut. It's a chipboard piece that I lined with that gold foil paper again. So it's really shiny. I'll also take pictures and you can check them out on my um, Instagram, which is Joyce Papery, and I'll leave like the link down below. So that is my first loaded envelope. I got that for her. And she talks about her mom a lot. And I know a lot of you who've been following me for a while know that like I've lost my mom a couple of years ago now. It's actually been a long time, but it still seems like yesterday. She talks about her mom and how her mom watches her videos and supports her and like I just love that and I wanted to make something special for her mom and she said her mom is simple so I'm hoping this is simple enough but still beautiful to her I made her a layout so she can uh, place a photo in there and it's I believe a 4 by 6 photo her mom likes this and thinks it's beautiful and places a beautiful picture of herself inside of here because I don't know, moms just deserve everything. Moms who support their children and are there for their children and just, you know, guide their children and love on their children so much. Like, that is the biggest thing. I just love it. So, that is for her and I hope she likes it. The next thing and the final thing that I see. So, she's never made a mini album or received a mini album, I believe. Um, the craze right now is a flip, flip book. So it's a lot of like flipping of pages, which I feel is basically the same as a mini album. Flippity flopping in there, you know? So here I made this album for her and her dog. Her dog's name is Bella. She's super cute. Pretty gold bow and it's got rhinestones on it with this like dangling crystally type of thing. This is super cool because you could actually look through the hole on this side and see through like you can see like the flowers and everything that's coming through that little hole right there. And if you hold this down, wait for it and listen. It flashes and makes a noise. I was hoarding this for like five years and I was like, she's worth it. I'll give it to her. <laughs> I got this really pretty flower here by Recollections again. This is by Recollections, a Tim Holtz knob, um, a bow, some skeleton flowers, a tool for the binding, a wooden heart here, and some swirly bling. And it says, the girls. Um, and the first page is a page of Bella. Look at this cute photo! And it says favorite. I did a lot of edging. It says laugh often. I used a Martha Stewart punch and I edged around um, all the pages with a uh, white paint and then I sprayed it with my Glitz um, Shimmer Spray um, from Lindsay Stamp Gang. And then here are these two tags that says, one says you make me smile and this one is just lined and they're blank on the back whether or not she wants to Add a photo to the back or journal option for her. It says laugh often. This next page is Brianna. Look how gorgeous she is. 
She's so pretty. This one says Just Us and Best Buds. And then I have this gold foil um, pinwheel and some doily in the back. This paper is a chevron and it's also like gold foil. There's another picture of her sleeping with Bella and it says love. And then there's another photo of her and Bella. So she's not expecting any of these photos to be in here. So I'm really excited to see her reaction when she like records this video and actually see some photos in here. So here I created a waterfall card and this page is blinged out with this cool soft toned pink bling. It's not so bright and it's not so pale but it's just like a rose gold and I really like it. So it says wild at heart, you pull this tab and it flips through her photos. Ain't she so cute? She's so super cute. I mean, look at her face. She's adorable. So there's that, and then this page here is empty. It opens up, and she can place her own photos there. This page over here is a page just for a photo. Um, some frog feathers. These are such old brands. I'm not even sure if people are like still selling or they're still around. Frog feathers trim. This acrylic flower here, and everything is like not fully glued down so she could slip the picture behind the flowers and everything. And then this really cool uh, flower with some I Am Roses flowers on top. And then this one has, love this chipboard piece with glitter, gold pinwheel, some flower trim. Uh, it says glamorous on the front, which is so cute. So there's a paper clip here. This first top card folds up and she can place a photo there and it's all photo matted and then it folds up again. So there's space potentially for one, two, three, four photos. These two tags that I created for her, um, they're with the paper collection and I just added this glitter ribbon and it's plain on the back for whatever she wants to do. Page and the last two pages this one here, I did a lot of layering again, and this vintage button, some more Martha Stewart uh, leaf punches, I'm Rose's flowers, and this bling bling down over here. I mean, I didn't bling it out as much as she would like, I think. I think she would have wanted this more blingy, but I just, I could, I had to stop. <laughs> like, know what it is but like I just I felt like okay if I add more it's just gonna look too cluttered so then here's um, a tag pretty and you can see the shimmer that I sprayed on uh, this really pretty ruffled trim with polka dot and then this tag right here is also distressed edges and some eyelash trim and then this gold foil polka dot with this fiber trim. Each here is super cute. It is picture perfect of Bella, and I did two by two photos. Um, I cut them out, placed them down for her so she wouldn't have to deal with this page. The reason why I wanted to do this page is because I wanted to stick the photo, um, this chipboard, chipboard, chipboard piece over here in the center, and I feel like if I sent it to her without these photos, maybe she might not put something there. So I really wanted to do that for her. Some I Am Roses um, sprays, this gigantic pearl right here. Recollections, pink flower, this pretty cream flower, a gold doily, and then some photo, photo mats in the back that's been distressed at the edge. And then the back is just plain, and I added a little, my sticker there. And so, Again, this stretches over and closes the mini album through the knob. I love making mini albums. It's one of my faves. It's because you get to cherish the, um, the photos and actually put them to use instead of leaving them on your devices and stuff. So this is the mini album that I created for her. The loaded envelope um, and the card and the layout for her sweet mama. So we're doing a swap and I'm so excited for her to receive this, like super excited. And she made me something and I know I'm gonna flip out and it's just gonna be awesome. And I just wanna say thank you, Brianna, for being a really cool friend. And I appreciate you and can't wait for our next FaceTime craft session. So I hope you guys liked this video. Go check out Brianna. Let her know I sent you. 
Uh, be on the lookout for when I receive my package from her. You guys are having a great day wherever you guys are. Um, and thanks for keeping me inspired, you guys. Bye!